in this video, we're going to take a look at the top five features in the new edition of Darktable. Before that, I'm planning a course on Darktable and I wanted to give the YouTube viewers a chance to comment on this. The course is not going to be on YouTube, almost certainly not going to be on YouTube. So I wanted to get some kind of input from you guys. Is there anything that you are looking for in a course? Anything you'd want covered? What sort of level? That kind of thing. Leave a comment below. I'll try and take it into account. Let's go on with the countdown. So the first thing, number one, there's been general improvements in performance of the software. So when you're using modules like the tone equalizer, when you do your edits, you should find that it's editing and updating a little bit faster than before. Another new feature is that when you're using things like the Filmic RGB, holding down control, scrolling up and down with the mouse wheel allows you to change and customize the size of the graphs. That's a really cool feature. The next one, number three, is a big one. We've got a new module. They're calling it the Quick Access Panel, and it actually includes several modules in one place where we can do some really quick edits, which can have a really powerful impact on the image when we start editing. So we've got the white balance, we've got the denoise, lens correction, exposure, all in one panel. And if you want to do more editing, we've got something new here, for instance, called the color balance or RGB. We can just click on an icon here and it takes us to the full new module. And you can do that with the other modules in the quick access panel. Number, I think number four, we've got a new export menu inside of Darkroom. So we can export images right from inside of Darkroom. No need to go into light table as we used to have to do in the past. Number five, there's a new demosaicing algorithm, which is set by default. And the default one is called RCD. Now, if you want to, you can choose more than one, they're calling it dual demosaicing. And this actually brings Darktable into line with software like Raw Therapy, where you've got more than one uh, demosaicing algorithm working at the same time. This new feature is really cool. It allows you, most of the resolution that we have inside of a digital image is actually coming from this process of demosaicing. So the better the demosaicing, the higher the resolution of the image that you can get if you're doing a large print, for instance. So this allows you to work with the fine detail inside of the image and you can get really, really large prints if you choose the right demosaicing technique. I think we're up to number six now. We've got a fast import process so we can go into light table, choose import and in these menus here, we've got all sorts of good things happening here. Let me see if I can just turn on the thumbnails. We've got thumbnails, guys. You can see the images before you import them. And if you click on this button here, you can add new places. So you can go right across the entire machine, your local disks, you can add cards that you've just added to the machine. They should all be accessible now inside of this dialogue and you can also access a similar dialogue if you go to the copy and import. I think we're at number seven now. I've stopped counting. So we've got another new feature, which is that the option now exists to choose different interfaces inside of light table using these icons at the bottom here. And there are a ton of other new features. I think we were up to seven. I'm going to leave it at that guys. And there's plenty more to come. I will see you guys in the next video. Till then, take care. Bye.